unhealthy amount of competition and i've never felt that way like how much money you can pay to get which seat where in the last 28 days my estimated revenue is Hi what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to our annual Eid get ready with me we do this every year on our channel where i get ready for Eid with you all and i answer a bunch of your questions so today that's exactly what we are doing we have answered a lot of your saucy juicy personal questions that you all have about my future about my income about what i do about so many other things and i understand that a lot of sara squad members are new to the family so i hope a lot of you all get to know me better from this video if you're interested then continue watching but if this is the first time you've come on to my channel then hi i'm sara i make beauty and lifestyle content here on youtube take a moment and hit the subscribe button and join the sara squad i'm sure you'll have a great time here and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified and with that let's dive straight into this all right let's get started i'm going to clip my hair at the back because it's very hot in bombay like it's insanely hot and i'm not wearing anything new as such this is my diwali ka old outfit only which i'm going to revamp and wear and i will put my outfit uh, video as well very soon so stay tuned for that because that is going to be exciting but this is not my eid outfit right now i have gone ahead and cleansed my face i used this for that this is my domavi hydra cleanser so just nicely cleansed my face after i woke up in the morning and next i'm going in with my nutridom vitamin e moisturizing lotion my tried and trusted and then we'll dive into all of your amazing questions that you'll have for me most of the questions are career related want to know me better there are some saucy questions as well so we'll dive right into it i've taken some screenshots of the questions i have planned to answer hopefully i can answer most of them now that my skin is prepped i'm going to go ahead and use my milani make it last setting spray and give it a nice spritz of that so that i have some nice glowing skin i have done my detailed base makeup routine for you all so i'm going to link it here or here wherever it pops up go watch that because i'm not going to like take you all through all of the products today i will just link the products for you in the description box in case you want to check it out so today's video is going to be more of a chatty video the first question is by avantika and she asks when you said to your parents that you want to start a youtube channel what was their reaction so as such my parents did not have any um, like they didn't stop me from doing this because they did not even know what the potential of this was they just thought that ha theek hai there's one more thing that i want to add to my bucket of things that i want to do with my life because i am very spontaneous with a lot of things and this was started as such a passion project ki ha theek hai youtube karte youtube pe videos dalenge so it was literally a joke uh, for me for my friends and also that is how they took it they took it as a joke uh, so they weren't very ambitious about it neither did they react about it or anything for that matter they were just like theek hai karna hai karo there was no insane reaction from them okay next question is by pooja londhe and she asks when you got your first payment from youtube and kitne month lage the start karne ke baad so i think my first payment was after 6 months of me starting my channel i remember very clearly i you get the google adsense code that you can put on your adsense account this is from the adsense money which is jo ads aate hai videos pe usme se jo uh, income you get like a certain percentage comes to you a certain percentage goes to youtube uh, so from that you get like a code when it first starts monetizing and i think my first payment was the same as everybody you get 100 dollars which at that time was i think 6500 tax back cut ke kuch aaya tha and it was 6 months after i started my channel but uh that time it started monetizing aur fir se band ho gaye the ads aana kyunki they changed their uh, monetization rule they decided to change it in january so i remember i got my first payment in september and then 100 dollars collect hone kuch time lagta hai to uske baad second payment aaya hi nahi aur fir wo unhone ne guidelines hi badal diye ki now you need 1000 subscribers and 1 lakh watch time to uh, again start monetizing your channel so then for a good 7 8 months again there were no ads on my channel like only one payment i got then again i had no payment so it took me overall one and a half year to start getting any money at all from that and that was also a very small amount so at what age did you start youtube please tell us the struggle when you first started it so i started my channel in 2017 posted my first video on eid itself it was 26th june 2017 the initial struggle was one that i did not know what i was doing so i had no 
आइडिया वॉट्सो है वो लाइक आई टोल यूर इट स्टार्टेड एज अ जोक अमंग्स अ फ्रेंड वी वर लाइक के ठीक है करते हैं करते हैं यू नो तो फर्स्ट वीडियो के लिए तो देर वॉज सो मनी पीपल हेल्पिंग मी आउट लाइक माई फ्रेंड्स केम ओवर टू हेल्प मी विद द कैमरा सेट अप एवरीथिंग आई हैड नो आइडिया दैट यू आर सपोज टू एडिट द वीडियोज इट टेक्स सो मच एफर्ट फॉर ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड एवरीथिंग लाइक इतना हाई टेक टेक्नोलॉजी लगेगा मुझे एडिट करने तो आई हैड वन वेरी पुराना एसिस का लैपटॉप विच वॉज ऑज अ वेरी ओल्ड कोर प्रोसेसर एंड एवरीथिंग सेट वॉज सुपर स्लो एंड माई फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो डिट नो मच वी वर ऑल किड्स लाइक वी वर ऑल एटीन ईयर्स लाइक आई वॉज एटीन इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन दैट टाइम एंड माई फ्रेंड्स केम ओवर एंड दे ऑल्सो डिट नो एनी थिंग सो वी वॉज इज फिगरिंग प्रेमियर प्रो आउट एट दैट टाइम एंड अडोबी प्रेमियर प्रो इज वन ऑफ द प्रो लेवल्स एडिटिंग ऐप सो वो तो आज तक मुझे नहीं आता है एडिट करने उस पर एंड वी वो फिगरिंग आउट दैट ऑन द फर्स्ट डे सो इट वॉज सो डिफिकल्ट आई रिमेंबर पूरा ईद आई ओनली स्पेंड ट्राइंग टू लाइक शूट एंड एडिट एंड लिटिल डिड आई नो दैट दैट्स गोन बी माई लाइफ फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ लाइक आई एम गोन कंटिन्यू डूइंग दैट बिकॉज द फर्स्ट डे इट वॉज सो डिमोटिवेटिंग लाइक आई डेंट गिव अप वी नन ऑफ अस गिव अप माई फ्रेंड्स ऑफ वेरी मोटिवेटिंग एंड वी लाइक चलो करते हैं करते करते एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे ऑल्सो वेन द वीडियो वॉज रेडी पूर्णिमा इफ यू ऑल नो हो फ्रॉम माई ब्लॉग्स यू ऑल नो हो सो she edited the whole thing and then she, at the end she was like ki agar tujhe nahi acha lag raha hai to don't upload it i was like nahi aaj nahi karungi to kabhi nahi karungi karke i put up the video and then second video ke baad se koi nahi tha like my friend santosh had come his camera was the camera i used to borrow so every time i had to film i used to go all the way till goregao which is far away from my house like it's like almost a 30 minute scooty pe main jaati thi college se aane ke baad uska camera leke aati thi aur fir mount wagera karke mujhe bilkul bhi nahi aata tha kitne videos mein main focus mein bhi nahi थी यू नो आई डिट नो हाउ टू सेट अप माई फ्रेम एंड एवरी थिंग तो पहले पूरा मिरर वगैरह सब आता था मेरे रूम का लाइट्स कैसे बाउंस होती है नेचुरल लाइट कैसे बदलती है सो लकीली आई हैड फ्रेंड्स हु आर वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड सपोर्टिव एंड गेव मी दियर इक्विपमेंट लाइक माई फ्रेंड जस्ट गेव मी इज डी एस एल आर टोल मी अपने पास ही रख अनलेस आई नीड इट आई एल कम एंड टेक इट सो समाइम्स आई शू हैव टू गो टू ड्रॉप इट ऑफ एंड देन अगेन गो बैक टू टेक इट सो फॉर अ गुड वन ईयर आई रियली रियली स्ट्रगल्ड वेर एन आई हैड नो इक्विपमेंट ऑफ माई ओन नो नॉलेज एंड नो टाइम टू लर्न ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई शू गो टू मैथ स्कूल आई हैड नो टाइम टू लर्न द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज और अपग्रेड माई इक्विपमेंट और सेव एनी मनी बिकॉज आई हैड नो इनकम सोर्स so yeah and because my parents took it as a joke they were not going to invest in my channel because i didn't want them because i didn't know na ki main kitna lamba ye continue karungi so only when i started earning did i invest that little bit of money i remember for the first camera which is a camera i'm still using i got juti churai ka paisa 10000 from my jiju on my sister's wedding and wo 10000 maine down payment dal ke i told my dad anyhow just give me your credit card details and i will like cut it from my pocket money every month and let me buy my first camera. camera so i don't have to like you know again and again go and come go and come so this camera costed me about 50000 and that time also i was not earning from youtube it was still being cut from my pocket money but i somehow managed so like one year later i got this camera and life just became a little simpler after that and now alhamdulillah now i can tell you since the past 7 8 months i'm properly set up with my equipment i can film any time because i have a light i have my camera set up i have figured stuff out and after that i just decided that i will start learning you know that my mom got me my first macbook she got me the macbook air again after one year so then i decided to learn final cut pro and that's a pro level editing app so i do on that and yeah that's how we grew so it took a lot of struggle it took a lot of support from a lot of people but maine apne fair share ke bahut dhakke khaye the only thing was the passion that i had ki karna you know this is true purpose fuels passion so i just had this purpose ki i want to do it i don't want to give up i enjoy doing it and that is why i never gave up okay so jana asks me what is my opinion about uh, youtubers shading other youtubers and the ones with massive subscribers being arrogant and looking down upon smaller youtubers Uh, of late shivani tanija expose someone what's your take on that do you think showing private vulnerabilities online can be called content okay so this is a very big question number 1 shading youtubers is something that i am completely against because i don't think you're here to compete the one thing i should love about youtube uh, was that i have lived a very competitive life in general in school also i was the very bright kid so i was always expected to top in school and every year there were so many expectations from me ke first year aana hai first year aana hai to that level of competition comes in and i internally wasn't like i didn't enjoy being competitive but people expected me to do well which is why i had to always compete i think this is the reason i never participated in sports because i didn't enjoy that competitive spirit that sports give you when i came to medical entrance also i realized that itna competition hai it's unhealthy amount of competition so i think after all of that when i joined youtube it was such a breath of fresh air na ki yahan pe competition nahi yahan pe agar mujhe 10000 views mil rahe hai to kisi aur ko bhi 10000 views mil sakte hai agar mere 100 के और है किसी और के भी हो सकते हैं इट्स नॉट लाइक यू 
will only watch my videos and you will watch so many people so that i do not understand the unhealthy competition and you know trying to shade smaller creators or other creators matlab if you can just pull somebody up and make them better help them out why would you pull them down like what do you get out of it that and shivani's video i did watch and of course i know shivani as well i think if i was in her place aur mujhe kuch bother kar raha tha ya koi mujhe personally attack kar raha tha to mujhe bhi address karna padta i have always been very vocal on my channel and if something is bothering me you all are my community i will come and tell you all only and when it comes to personal opinions on youtube i mean everybody has a different niche to agar tumhara niche personal uh problems and personal cheeze bana ke bana hai then maybe that is your content i don't think anything over here is right or wrong uh, according to me personally because everyone enjoys watching something over here like if i enjoy watching makeup content i'm making makeup if i enjoy watching motivational content i will start making motivational sort of videos like i am tuned like that ki jo mujhe dekhna acha lagta hai main i try to make more of that so that i also like watching my videos and my audience vibes with me so i mean if you want to share your personal problems kudos to you that means you know you want to relate to your audience on that level maybe it's okay maybe it's perfectly fine and if people do relate to you that way because every one of us has personal problems to kabhi kabhi dusro ka dekh ke aisa acha lagta hai ki ha sirf hamari life mein bura nahi ho raha hai dusro ke sath bhi ho raha hai so it's fine to how much extent you want to show and what you want to show it's a very personal creator's choice so i mean to each one zone over there okay vinci has asked me a couple of questions first thing is can you tell me your favorite youtuber my favorite youtuber currently has to be mumbai kar nikhil because i'm binge watching his videos it's like a rabbit hole you go down one vlog and then you want to watch them all so i'm currently in that phase i watch a lot of creators in general youtube is my jam and i love watching it so i can't really pick one but right now it's mumbai kar nikhil uh also are you interested in acting feel absolutely not if you ever got a chance to work in series of bollywood would i go for it no i wouldn't i don't i'm not interested as something about bollywood like you know youtube attracts me more than bollywood i love watching youtubers then i enjoy watching movies even in the lockdown i have not watched a single movie as much as i've watched youtube so if not youtube or medical what would be the other career option if not youtube or medical i would have gone for architecture i loved design i interior design or architecture but mostly architecture all right next question is by tria and she asks me what's one moment you want to relive okay so i have this very vivid memory of uh, when we went to cape town which was the last vacation i took before no the last vacation i took was pondicherry the second last the last international holiday i took before everything went south and covid happened and we can't travel anymore so from that in cape town we had gone to this sunset point i don't remember the name of that it was basically at the most top yeah it was chapman's peak view point this is what it looked like and this is me over there and the sunset over here this sunset was so gorgeous i just remember sitting over there at this very cool weather like the weather over there was so good we had gone around diwali time and it was very very cold over there it was like freezing temperatures and negative so we were like really layered up and everything and the sunset was gorgeous like we witnessed the entire sunset like i just wanted time to stop over there and i've never felt that way and it was such a carefree time for us like we were just enjoying ourselves it was honestly beautiful like amongst all of the international holidays i've ever taken i think cape town has to be hands down my most favorite i would go there again if life gave me a chance and i think just that moment i would want to re keep reliving it maliha is asking me who edits the videos for you who manages your youtube and instagram is it all by you and if possible please share the editing apps used okay so like i said for the longest time it was me alone that was only the biggest problem ki mujhe kuch aata nahi tha aur main akele sab koshish kar rahi thi karne ki to youtube se hi maine youtube karna seekha i should watch a lot of videos after coming back from college and learn you know how i can improve my quality of production or even today i'm never satisfied i'm like all is trying to do better and switching up and as much as i can like even with shorts and reels you'll notice that i try to keep experimenting cuz that learning kida in me is always there and i always want to learn so yes even today majorly everything is handled by me like right now setup 
production, editing, everything. The app I use currently is Final Cut Pro. It's a Mac and Apple only app. It's an iOS software. And when I started, I did not have a Mac and iOS. So I used to use a Filmora, which is also a very, very easy software to use. So Windows Movie Maker and Filmora. First, a couple of videos were Windows Movie Maker. Uske baad I started with Filmora. And sometimes if I want to do experimental shoots, then I freelance with uh, videographers, photographers. Uh, sometimes like outdoor karna hai. Like when I had a Valentine's series in the hotel, that entire Valentine's series was shot and edited by Rachit. So he did all the videography, photography for me. So yeah, sometimes like freelance ke basis pe, I do work with editors also. I have another editor, Kaushik, who does some of my edits. Next question is, who is your inspiration behind this YouTube channel? I think YouTuber who inspires inspired me to be a YouTuber definitely has to be Kathleen Lights. I used to love her content, used to, I still love her content and I really enjoyed the way she just came online and just was herself. That's all she did and I loved watching her. She's so original. Even today, she's the same way that I started watching her as such a breath of fresh air. Like she was not doing her makeup with bananas and condoms and you know, trying new things. YouTube keeps changing its trends and everything that's trending online keeps changing and a lot of creators just flow with the trend and vaise bas but she's like evergreen her personality is her channel and that's how I always wanted to be like I just wanted my channel to be personality oriented where people come because they enjoy spending time with me because I used to watch Kathleen's videos because I liked spending time with her so that she's definitely a big inspiration Pia asks me what are the few most important things that you got through med school any advice for people starting med school right now one thing I understood is that you can't always do well like the more you grow in life you are being narrowed down with with the most of the cream crowd like when you're in school you're amongst a mass audience then over there if you like score well do well and you come to like entrance exam level so over there everybody's ambitious to just get those seats in medical right so that's a very unhealthy competition tabhi need ke pehle agar koi bhi abhi need dene wala hai you all would relate that you know it's very unhealthy, very toxic. Calm down and stop getting into the rat race. Even though this is a rat race and you need that 400 limited medical seats which are there, there's a whirlwind of options for you. Trust me, you just have to tap into your talents. And don't tell me you're not talented because everyone is talented. You just have to tap into your talents. Figure out what else you want to do. There. Even today when I was in med school, I decided I should do this. And Today, this is more stable for me than med school is. Like, you know, with COVID, I don't even know when I'll graduate. I don't have a convocation that I, I'm not getting the due respect that I could as an occupational therapist. I can't go abroad for my master's. There's so many things that have restricted me because of COVID. So life just changes and throws new curveballs at you. What I can one thing advise you is hustle very hard. Keep working hard. There is no replacement for that. Take enough breaks and give yourself that mental break as well. But jabhi bhi tum hard work kar sakte ho, try to do that. So waisa attitude rakho, be open to everything. Med school is not the buy all and end all. You'll definitely get to learn a lot. I'm very grateful to my college. I'm very grateful to be a part of my institute. It's one of the most prestigious institutes to be a part of. And I'm very glad I chose to do occupational therapy from KEM and have the name KEM attached to me and my institute than to do MBBS from any shady ass college because that was also an option you can once you finish your entrance it's all a money game like how much money you can pay to get which seat where and that is such a toxic thing now trust me this is gonna happen once your marks come out you'll be getting calls every day and my parents actually gave me the offer that you can go ahead and do that and I was like no I will not be able to look myself in the eye if you all have to pay money for my education that to bribe money this is not fees like fees is fine this is bribe money so I don't want a purchase seat I will do whatever my merit allows me to do and I'm very glad I chose that I'm very glad I chose that institute which is attached to me because institutes matter a lot in education so work hard to get the institution you deserve and not not just the degree you want. Okay, Dipanjali asks me my question, how much do you earn from YouTube now per month? P.S. It can inspire a lot of people to come on YouTube, whoever is thinking to do so. Okay, so the intention behind asking is right. Now, one of the main reasons why I do not disclose my income on YouTube is number one, it's very like, you know, it is not stable because it's not a salary. It's nobody paying us to do what we are doing. Like I tell you all my stipend as an internship in KEM is 1,500 because every month it's 1,500 only. It's not going to change. So if I tell you all my amount, you all will be like, oh, so much or so little, like, you know, for the effort that I'm doing. 
तो वैसा नहीं है इट चेंजेस एवरी सिंगल मंथ ना लेटली आई डिट सी द्योति रिवील हाउ मच यू मेड फ्रॉम एड सेंस लास्ट मंथ एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ यूर आस मी हाउ मच डिड आई मेक फ्रॉम एड सेंस लास्ट मंथ सो लास्ट मंथ इफ यू सी इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी एट डेज माई एस्टिमेटेड रेवेन्यू इज फाइव एटी वन डॉलर फाइव एटी वन डॉलर इज समेर क्लोज टू थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज इफ यू कन्वर्टेड सो लास्ट मंथ माई इनकम वॉज फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फ्रॉम गूगल एड सेंस दैट्स अबाउट इट Now that changes every month. Forty thousand is the maximum I've gotten paid from YouTube abhi tak because last month a lot of videos did well and I posted a lot of content. So it depends on how many videos I'm posting, how many ads are put on my video. Like during COVID, a lot of ads were not being put only on my videos because log advertisement dali nahi rehte. So kafi chizo pe like it's subjective, which is why I don't disclose it and which is why I think a lot of YouTubers don't disclose it. Like the months I'm earning, I can't spend everything I'm earning because in the next month I might not be earning that much or anything at all. Then I have to save up and manage my budgets accordingly. Shreya asks me, "Do you like traveling? Have you ever been abroad? And what's your dream place to visit?" I love traveling. My entire dream was that one day when I start earning, I'll spend all my money to travel the world. But COVID happened, and ever since I started making good enough money that I can travel, I can't travel with the money because uh, everything is under lockdown. But ठीक है, it is what it is for everyone. And what is my dream place to visit? It has to be Greece. Europe in general is a dream continent to travel to, and so so beautiful to look at. I want to go backpacking across Europe, but just Greece, one place is a dream destination for me. Priyanka asked me, "Hey Sara, it's a treat to watch your videos and also have a slice of your personality. Thank you so much. I would like you to talk a little bit about the presence of two different faiths in your house that shaped you up. So interfaith because uh, my mom is a Catholic and my dad is a Muslim." Muslim, so there are two different faiths uh, that govern in my house. I think growing up like this, first initially it was very confusing for me because I went to a Catholic medium school, and every time we went to my grandma's house, at my nani's house, we always prayed in a different way. And at my house over here, we prayed in a different way. So it was very confusing for me as a child. But I think the more I grew up and I understood that what was happening in the two places, everybody like the elders had their own mindsets about this, and everybody wanted to shape us in. One mold. Now, is me na two things hoti hai. Ya to you don't believe in God and any faith in general. Ya to you start believing in God in general. <laughs> so these two things happen to both my sister and I. My sister does not not believe in God, but she also does not believe in religion in general. It becomes very neutral to us. And same to me. Like I am very big on believing in God and the universe. Like I'm very spiritual. Like more than her, I would definitely say. But again, I don't like to say that I'm only praying to one God. So. it was difficult i would say to come up in such a household because elders also don't know what they're teaching you sometimes they are also just as confused and uh, they did not think it through when they got married i would say but uh, i think they got some smart children who made their wise choices but okay so then after that when they realized that we had made our own mind up and we knew what we were doing they were like okay you all are good we are good i think the only thing with indian households is that parents are not the only people that influence you right you have grandparents you have so many other people who are ready to give like relatives and so many people who are ready to give you their tipkanis to sabka sun sun ke na you get very confused until you reach that grown up mature phase where you are ready to make up your own mind about things it's a very confusing time i'm not even going to like sugar coat it because it was definitely especially for somebody who is spiritual like my sister was not spiritual so she didn't care only she was like jaan do jo bol rahe jo karne bol rahe main kar lungi but main itni rational hu na मेरे को हर चीज का आंसर चाहिए था कि ये ऐसा क्यों ये वैसा क्यों तो उसमें मैं और इरिटेट हो जाती थी बट अभी नहीं अभी आई हैव I know what I'm doing. I I feel like I know what I'm doing. One thing is for sure we are all very God fearing. That is in general. Like we know कि there is some power above us which is the supreme and we do respect and pray to everyone and you know respect. And I think our parents also grew up with us. It was not just our growth in this process. Our parents also grew up and understood. So they were also learning. You know we just put our parents on such a threshold and k say k you know you all should know everything. You all are right. You all are this. It's not like that. They are also figuring out life as they go along, and I think just understanding that is sometimes very important. Like I think in Indian households, we are made to feel like parents are supreme. वो लोग जो बोले सही वो लोग जो करे सही इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दे आर ऑल्सो फिगरिंग लाइफ एज दे गो एंड दे आर ऑल्सो बाउंड टू मेक मिस्टेक्स सो इट्स ओके Okay, next is by Zahra. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Any advice you would give to the seventeen-year-old Sara? 
in the next 5 years is so tricky right now trust me if you would have asked me this question before covid i would have a definite answer for you that i would see myself abroad or have done my masters get a job in the in the hospital or something or you know have a clinic or something on those lines uh definitely ot oriented only because i am not planning to give up on my degree so that is not going down the drain for sure but today if you ask me that question it's so like you know it's just on the wobble everything is just changing every single day and as the life is changing and as the world is changing i'm also changing and having a lot of backup plans ki ye nahi to ye ye nahi to ye in 5 years i definitely see myself doing youtube even then that is one thing that i've become very sure of that i don't want to get off this platform i love youtube and i see myself belonging here apart from that i hope that i have a clinic one day i don't know if i'll be able to have it in 5 years or it'll take longer and i don't even know what is my masters or what is it that i want to you know do my masters in and what kind of a clinic i want so wo sab abhi figure out nahi hua hai so i added lashes and i tried adding lenses and mere aankhon mein pani aa gaya i don't have the lenses i usually wear the colored lenses and i tried a new brand and it did not suit my eye to say the least so i'm just going to line my lips with this pack lip pencil in the shade coffee on top of that i'm taking the kalaba hot latte liquid lipstick and i'm just going to fill my lips with this I'm going to wear on my earrings and before that I'll take the question by Kia where she asks me how did you grow on YouTube and what was the one video that blew your channel up Okay so for the longest time for me my growth was more like substantial and not viral wherein every video se thode thode subscribers join hote the and I would get like an audience it was not that one video going viral but definitely the journey from 50k to 100k was because of my one video going viral which was this makeup tutorial right here it has crossed 20 million views and because of that a lot of new Sara Squad members have joined my um uh, channel aastha gupta asks me one thing that you are proud of having accomplished in the last 5 years love you the love you very much as well i think one of the major things i'm very proud of in general is being independent at an early age i think i've worked very hard to get here and i used to not see results for a very long time and a lot of people used to keep uh, doubting my worth and i used to doubt my worth but eventually at a very early age because i started working at 17 at 21 finally i could be financially independent so that i think is my biggest accomplishment that ever since i turned 21 i'm not taking money from my parents so they don't have to take the stress of having to pay my expenses and you know they don't have to stress about my future because i've made my future especially being the younger one they were always stressed about me because they are getting older and i'm still very young so they used to have to stress about my future but ever since i took control of my finances and everything now they are like stress free now they are like theek hai to sambhal legi So I think that is my biggest accomplishment to keep them stress free and I would like to keep it that way. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a makeup look that will go with majority of your Indian outfits. That's how I kept it very neutral, smoky and glam. And this is not the outfit I'm wearing for Eid. I'm going to make a separate video on what is the outfit I'm wearing for Eid. It's going to be a super exciting one. Super challenging as well. So I hope you all enjoy that video as well. Eid Mubarak to each and every one of you all who are celebrating. If you like today's video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Genuinely if you do like it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help with the algorithm a lot. For today's video the Sarah Sport shout out goes to Dia Banerjee. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video Sarah Sport shout out you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad. And you know chance to be a part of my next video sara squad shout out i will see you guys very soon in another video bye guys love you Mwah.